This is Dr. Catherine Dow reporting for Room Now. It's been a great day, ULAR day two. There's a lot of information about lupus. So I wanna share with you what I learned today. The first one was a study done by Dr. Michelle Petrie. She wanted to know whether or not hydroxychloroquine blood levels can predict venal thrombolic events in lupus. She studied prospectively the Hopkins lupus cohort. And yes, she did find that low blood levels actually are associated with higher rates of venal thrombolic events. And so she says, you know, don't worry about this whole conflict between us and the ophthalmologist. Do you treat the patient with five milligrams per kilograms a day of hydroxychloroquine or 6.5 milligrams per kilograms a day? Just draw their blood, figure out what their levels are. The goal levels should be between 1,000 to 1,500 nanograms per milliliters. The second study is something that I've been waiting for for a long time. What do you do with your patients who have quiescent lupus and are on mycophenolate. Do you stop the mycophenolate or do you continue it? So this is a prospective randomized controlled trial. It's not blinded. And what they did was they took a group of lupus patients who are on mycophenolate and randomized them to continue the therapy or to stop the therapy, okay? So they tapered them over a period of 12 weeks and followed them for 60 weeks. The majority of these patients were on mycophenolate because of lupus nephritis, uh, many of them have been on mycophenolate for six years or more, and over 50% of them actually had a positive double-stranded DNA, and 25% of them had low complements. So what they found in their results was that patients who stopped mycophenolate didn't have more flares compared to patients who continued it. They measured the sleeve day, they measured the bilag, they measured a bunch of different lupus disease activity markers, and they didn't find much of a difference. What they did find was that with mycophenolate, if it's continued, there is a little bit higher risk for infections. So there you have it, folks. You can stop mycophenolate in a patient who had been quiescent of their lupus for a while. And then the third presentation was actually the updated lupus nephritis guidelines by ULAR and the ERAEDTA group. So the last time that the guidelines were updated was back in 2012. So what do the guidelines now say? They really want you to treat to target. So what that means is that they want you to have the patients achieve 25% improvement in their urine proteinuria at month three 50% improvement of the proteinuria by month six and complete remission, renal remission that is, by one year. They say that for lupus nephritis, class three, four, with or without class five, you can use mycophenolate, cyclophosphamide with a urolupus protocol preferred or the NIH protocol, or you can use mycophenolate with a casineurin inhibitor. They also want you to kind of minimize steroids so the gold dose should be seven and a half milligrams a day at month six. And then the third thing is for maintaining remission, they recommend using either mycophenolate or azathioprine. So there you have it, lupus, lupus, lupus. What a great day.